This is a new soccer ball, Brazuca, designed specifically for World Cup 2014 that's going to be held in Brazil. Adidas has been designing new soccer balls for every World Cup for past several years. So what is new and special about this ball for 2014? Let's take a look at that. We are in the electron microscopy lab. So what we did with this soccer ball, we cut a small piece out and we are going to look at the construction of this soccer ball and see what materials this ball is made of. So in this cut piece, we are going to look at the cross section and we will see what materials are used. The innermost layer is the bladder of this soccer ball that holds the air. Then the second layer is a fiber reinforced composite. After that, there is a thick layer of foam. Then we have a thin layer, which is again a fiber reinforced composite. The next layer is a thin layer of foam. And then there is the surface of this uh, soccer ball. So surface is made of polyurethane and it's made to look like a leather. Leather used to be the material for soccer balls in older times, but now it's replaced with a better material, uh, which is polyurethane. This material does not absorb a lot of moisture and it keeps the weight of the ball same, even in the moist condition. We can look closely in these layers. The first layer, thick layer of foam and the thin layer of foam separated by the fiber reinforced layer. The two types of foams have two different functions. So this thick layer of soft foam gives this uh, soccer ball desired level of softness. So when the player is hitting a header, he is not injuring his own head. But when we move to the other layer, which is the thick layer on the outer side, this is more like a syntactic foam. It's a specialized foam, which is a closed cell foam. So even if some moisture seeps into the surface of the soccer ball, this closed cell foam keeps that moisture localized and it absorbs very little moisture and keeps the soccer ball of the same weight and same size. Advanced materials like this help a lot in keeping the ball predictable for the player who is kicking this ball and get the trajectory right time after time during the entire game. No matter what kind of environmental condition this game is played, this ball is supposed to perform exactly the way it performs in a controlled condition. Most people would remember soccer ball to be a collection of hexagons and pentagons. That design actually evolved from a famous geodesic design developed by an architect called Buckminster Fuller. And that design was pretty good, it lasted a long time. But now since the technology has evolved a lot, the new kinds of designs have evolved. And we see only six panels in this new soccer ball. Apart from the design of these panels, another new innovation in this ball is that these panels are not stitched but thermally bonded with each other. Elimination of these stitches is very important now because when the air goes inside these grooves, it has a smooth path for glide instead of those stitches breaking that path of the air and making the trajectory of this ball unpredictable. The new soccer ball is a perfect example of innovation in the sports field area. It's not just the materials are innovative in this soccer ball, but the entire concept of designing this ball is extremely innovative. Engineering is lightweight materials.